Hey guys, I promised you I was gonna show you how uh, to get your music on Spotify playlists. Okay, super simple. Go to the website called dailyplaylist.com, hit this big green button, connect with Spotify, and three, two, one, boom, you are now connected with your Spotify. Now what you need to do is go to Spotify, select your track that you want to submit to playlists. So I found my track here, Parallel Universe, click on the dots, you wanna copy the song link, right? back to the website, hit paste, and boom, there it is. Is that my song? Yes, that's right, continue. Here we go. The system is now setting us up, um, and what we are going to do is we're first gonna start on the left-hand side. We need to select the genre of the track. So your track might be pop, it might be electronic pop, it might be EDM. You need to select one of those boxes. I'm going to select rap, because my track is a bit of a rap, a bit of a rock, rap track, you can see just by selecting rap, I have 3,273 playlists to choose from. That's a lot, okay? So I'm going to refine my search results and you can do that by adding some more details in that list. Because it has a hint of rock, I'm gonna add rock. And now it's refined it down to 21 playlists. So I'm going to read about these playlists a little. Uh, emerging artists, best pop track, rap, rock, indie. Okay, I'm gonna, I wanna to submit to that one, right? What it's come up with down the bottom is that I've selected one playlist and I now have 24 more playlists to submit to. With dailyplaylist.com, I think you get 25 submissions per week. So I'm going to speed up the video here and I'm going to search for a few more playlists and I'll see you soon. Okay, so I've gone through, um, I mixed up my search results occasionally, and now I've found as many playlists as I want. Um, so uh, when you're ready, you hit continue, right? And then you can hit this big blue submit button. So in video number two, I'm gonna actually explain to you what this step means. So we have some playlist submission gates here. And what that means is when you submit to these playlists, um, Spotify does some things in the background. So for example, if I submit to the Rock This playlist, it's going to make me follow on Spotify. Ryan, Adam and Zium, and then several other playlists, right? I used to hate this when I was younger, but I will show you why it's a good thing in video number two, okay? So these are all the playlists I've chosen to submit to. There's heaps of different submission gates that it's going to do for me. I just go bang, and then it has sent all my songs to all those playlists and I'm gonna sit back and wait and see what happens. Now, what will happen once it's submitted to all those playlists and run through all those submission gates, you will then appear back at the dashboard, like so. Now, if you have pitched um, no songs before, your dashboard will be empty, but if you've pitched songs before, then you will have several other items here. So this is a summary of the track I've just submitted. I can hit more info. You can see on the top right that it says, I have 20 pending playlist placements. I have zero that have been approved and zero that have been declined. So I just have to sit back and wait patiently for my track to get on the playlist. So guys, I hope this helped you. Um, if you know any similar websites that are free that others might be able to benefit from, link them down in the comments, guys. Let's all help each other. Let's all grow together and I will keep you up to date with video number two and I'll tell you why those follow gates are so, so, so cool. All right guys, thanks.